Welcome to the Live with Nikki show. We are going to show you how to zen out today and bring calm into your everyday mom life as well as to help your kids chillax. We will be joined later by Marcy Bar Isaac, one of my favorite yoga instructors in Toronto. So I'm very happy to have her here because with the start of the school year, I know for me it's been a little bit rough getting the kids back into the routine. Uh, we also had some of the holidays and it interrupted their schedule, which is never good when you're trying to get back on a schedule. So to keep mama calm, it helps keep the kids calm. So I think this is a very important um, topic as we're easing back into the school year. So I want to know, drop me a comment below and feel free to ask any questions. Um, Marcy will be answering your questions if you have any. You could PM us also on the Pink and Blue Magazine FB page. But I want to know how you bring calm into your life um, and into your kids' lives. Do you exercise? Do you do yoga? Um, do you have a calming routine? I know bath time also often helps even after my day. I often take a hot shower just to cool off and calm me down. Um, but in today's hot topics, there um, is some interesting things in the news. A mom in Mexico tried to help her child um, breathe after she noticed that he wasn't breathing well and applied Vicks Vapor Rub to his chest and his back, often as moms do. Some moms even put it on their kids' feet. However, there's something in the product called Camphor which increases mucus by 60% blocking the trachea. Medical experts say that the boy died, um, on for I'm gonna cry, unfortunately, um, because of this product. So um, a mom that was just trying to help her kid um, obviously um, impacted his health and he died by not reading the instructions. So please do not use Vicks Vapor Rub on your child and, um, that's under the age of three and please read labels carefully. Um, in other news in Tanzania, the president recently said that he doesn't believe that women should take birth control because he thinks women are being lazy by not wanting to take care of more kids, which I actually find <laughs> hilarious and ridiculous, which I'm sure you do as well. But anyway, we'd love to know what you think about that. And is anyone joining us over there, Brianne? Uh, yeah, we have a couple. Who's joining? <laughs> Hi guys, thank you for joining us. Drop us an emoji. Um, so, sexual harassment has seemed to be a big thing in the news lately. Um, yesterday, the Vatican announced that he is calling a meeting next year with 100 bishops to talk about sexual abuse. There's been about 3,700 cases of child molestation cases. And on this subject, CBS report 60 Minutes executive producer Jeff Fager was fired yesterday after allegations that he inappropriately touched people and embedded a culture of harassment. Although he was not fired for the sexual harassment, he was fired after texting another reporter asking her to be fair when reporting about him. Um, have you ever experienced sexual misconduct in the workplace? Let us know. Um, fortunately enough, I have never experienced it. Um, I don't know what I would do if I did ever experience it. Experience it. What would you do if um, another man um, made a pass at you? Uh, we would love to know. And the FDA for years has been trying to crack down on teenage smoking. It is on the rise and people are not, kids are now smoking e-cigarettes because they are flavored and they taste good and they're getting away with it with parents and teachers because it looks like a USB stick. Um, I know that this is a big epidemic that's happening right now and they are cracking down on companies telling them to get their shit together and if they don't they will pull them from the shelf. What would you do if you caught your kid smoking? Um, your teenager. I know that it in, it impacts brain development in teenagers as well as it increases their cancer risk. Um, and I know that smoking is on the rise in Canada and everywhere else with, you know, pot being legalized and so forth. So we'd love to hear from you what you think about that. Also, maybe that'll be another hot topic um, or another show if you guys are interested in just mm -hmm. talking about smoking. 
Um, I know that marijuana could actually be good for you, uh, but obviously it's not good for kids and their growing brains. And we are going to welcome, finally, Marcy Barra to come join me. Hello. You might get me good. <laughs> she is a certified Hi. yoga instructor yeah. in Toronto, and I personally take yoga with her, which I, I don't know if is a good thing or a bad <laughs> thing. If you love yoga, drop us a little hurt. Um, so I know that you know, you've done things, you know, for mindfulness. We've talked about it because I want to do a mindfulness course and I'm all about mindfulness mm -hmm. for moms. We actually have a mindfulness for moms group. Um, it's connected to our pink and blue Facebook group and our Facebook page if you want to join where we share recipes and mindfulness Amazing. tips. It's a big thing that I'm into because I really, um, for those of you that didn't know, um, and Marcy knows, is that I have a couple health issues. So for me, yoga is one thing that I actually love I actually look forward to doing yoga. On Friday, I, I squeezed it in before my weekend. You were so excited about that. <laughs> You're like, good for you. But, but I hate working out, and I'll be the first to admit it. But what are things that, like, poses or things that moms could do to bring calm in their everyday life? Okay, so I think the key here is something we can do that's fast and quick, because Oh, moms, I see Lauren going to do it. Not every mom has a lot of time. And so if we can do something that's quick and easy to kind of just relieve some stress, um, I think it's really beneficial. So I think a couple of things. So one, I find that most people, I know myself included, carry a lot of stress in our neck and our shoulders, Especially if you're a new mom or you have a baby at home, you are like <laughs> this, you are nursing, you are feeding, you are carrying the car seat. Do and not carry, can you say something that's starting to interrupt you? Do not carry the car seat. It's the worst thing for your lower back. Yeah. Get one of those snap and goes. They're $30. This is the best <laughs> tip ever. And just snap it on from your car and ride it out. It's the best. I That was a thing with my second child. I didn't pick up the car. You see all the moms? And they don't do it properly. They like, they go like this. No, and they're, like, you have a baby. Just, just, right. Our bodies are. It just ruins your body. You just don't have a baby. Just kidding. But you have to bend down and pick it up with your knees bent, right? Is the correct way to. Yeah. When you're heavy lifting. Right. Doing heavy some lift, heavy lifting. Right. Yeah. So, so most new moms, for sure, I would say they're an ex. Their backs are a mess. And, or if you just are stressed, you carry a lot of that stress in those areas. So a few simple things that I think is really useful to do is just take a moment to relax, shrug the shoulders up and inhale and exhale. And just, yeah, it's really nice. Just shrug the shoulders, roll them back. Could do that. So you're really opening the chest. So the, in yoga, we call them heart openers, right? Okay. So you're opening the heart, you're opening the chest, shoulders back. So these are, it's a really nice way to open the heart, open to new things, but more than that, you're also strengthening your back muscles by right. doing that, and your shoulder muscles, or even some neck rolls, or, or simple things like that. Um, and another thing, which is like the number one thing, this is what yoga is about, is breathing. So breathing really important i always say like anyone can do yoga if you can breathe you can do yoga so just take those moments to stop and breathe right and you know what another thing is so now um essential oils has they have their different oils that they use but they also have a car vaporizer um, yeah, I've seen that one. and I've it seen lights the up one. yeah the travel one mm -hmm. so and they, i have one for my computer that I plug in with a USB stick. It's really great. Um, and another thing is I use this sage peppermint. Um, and actually my neurologist recommended it and you just roll it on and it just smells so good. So if you're starting to get a headache or a tension headache or just want to put it in the back. And I love when you put the oil at the end of the of the class. That's the best part. She's like, if anyone doesn't want it, put up your hand. I'm like, I definitely want it. I love using essential oils. I'm not an essential oils expert, but yes. I feel like I'm not either. But it just, just if it feels good, like why not use them? But um, 
Yeah, I do. It I use mint I shampoo like that I buy. I have mint cream, lavender, yeah. you know, all that. Those little things. You know what? You don't. You tired of your first eye pillow? She makes lavender. these. If you guys want one, PM me <laughs> or her. These are amazing. You just. I sleep with it at night. I, I yeah. took one from her. She wasn't selling them originally. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> I want. I do. I have some extras now. But um, yeah, so it's all these little tricks. Right. That kind of, you know, you can't go to the spa, bring the spa into your Exactly. Home. Like I made today for us on this show um, some cucumber and lemon water. Just, yeah, and sometimes to throw in some mint. I didn't have any mint. Oh, it's a great idea. Yeah, so, what poses um, are good for moms that are like prenatal and postnatal, mm -hmm. before and after baby? Would you recommend? Very good question. Um, so, would you like to. Demonstrate. Demonstrate. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here we go, guys. Um, okay. So one pose that's great for definitely for prenatal when you've got your belly and you might be feeling a little self-conscious, um, and also great for anyone who just needs a minute to calm down. If you just if you're feeling stressed, you just need a minute to calm down. So really, this is for everyone. Also, postnatal is child's pose, and if you don't know a child's pose. Nicole can demonstrate for us. Um, so yeah, you just start off on your hands and knees. You just sit back on the backs of your heels and your knees can be wide apart. If you've got a pregnant belly, you want to make lots of room for the belly. You want to make room for your belly. Yeah, just like take the that. knees really wide. And your arms can be exactly how Nicole's doing. They can be in front of you. They can be behind you. Sometimes that's nice to relax the shoulders a little bit. Um, do a little stretch. Do a little stretch. So this is your third eye, right? This is third eye chakra. It, it, you're, you're putting your the middle of your forehead on the mat, so that also is some stimulation there. But um, that also really helps to calm the nervous system. So calming the nervous not, system yeah. is really what we right what we want to do. You just want to zen out. Yeah. And we have our the singing bowl. Yes. <laughs> you want to show the singing bowl? Sure. You're like, sure, why not? <laughs> this is more this is more meditative. This, right. I don't know if this is for everyone. I, but, but I even have the symbols that I that I have that make the same noise. I love it. But you know what? This is good for kids too. This is good for kids. So if you um if you are yeah, should we talk about Yeah, kids let's talk about kids, kids and like bring calm to kids. So I was telling Marcy um, here we could go back up and sit. But I was telling Marcy that I really think that it's great um, for kids to um, do yoga, and I've been trying to get a kids class together. And I've done it with my daughter Sienna. She's four, turning five now. But I really think that it's so great for them. Um, she also has like a little, which a lot of kids that age have issues. Um, expressing themselves, they throw tantrums, they don't know how to control their anger, um, winding down at night. Often they want to watch the iPad, which is the worst thing ever, but I'm not going to lie, I'm not perfect. Hashtag mom fail. And they watch, the, and it stimulates them, yeah. and it doesn't get them ready. So I think yoga is like something that just is restorative. Yeah. What do you think for kids? So I think for kids, for anyone, but kids for sure. Calming the nervous system again is so important. So a lot of things happen when you calm the nervous system. Calming the nervous system and and just slowing down actually brings more oxygen into the body. So when you have more oxygen into the body, you have more blood flow that helps with digestion. And with kids, that's a huge thing. Like what mother isn't right. obsessed with right. their kids? Exactly. Going to the bathroom. <laughs> and, you know, so this is these are all things that really help. Helps with sleep. Helps with anxiety with kids. This is a huge epidemic right now. Right. So calming that nervous system, very important. So a couple of easy techniques um, my kids love, and I've seen lots of kids. I'm certified to teach kids. I've, I've taught kids, and I see We're going to really get like a this. kids class together. <laughs> PM me if you want to join. <laughs> um, so there are a couple of breathing techniques. So one I call the sunshine breath. I don't call it the sunshine breath, but it's called, it's the, called the sunshine breath. breath. Um, so the kids really like this. It gives them a visual of the sunshine. So you can do it standing up, you can do it sitting down, you can do it now. Okay. So you inhale, and the arms come up like the sun is rising, and you exhale, and the sun goes down. And for kids, it's really fun to you can flop down, you can right. go to sleep. You can pretend you're And then you inhale, and you wake up again. So inhaling, arms up, exhaling, arms down, and the, the sun 
rising the sun's going down and also um snake breath is oh, really snake fun breath. i never heard of snake so breath. you inhale you breathe in and you hold it and then on the exhale you hiss like a snake for kids it's fun right. you can even they can do a cobra pose which is lying on your belly and, and lifting your head up they love that and it's like a snake but it's getting the inhales and the exhales and getting kids used to that so if they're in the middle of a tantrum or if they're feeling anxious about something or having a meltdown you can at least try these techniques but try them first when they're in really good mood so right. try them when they're happy and in a good mood and so you can play learn. with them so they learn how to do it and they have fun. And then when you're in those moments, you can say, hey, let's try sunshine breath. Let's try the snake breath. Right. And, and I've seen it. I've seen kids snap out right. of their, their tantrum or whatever is right. happening with them. It doesn't always work, but it's for sure a great tool to have in the, in the back, back pocket. pocket. Yeah. And what it, tell me about your yoga pretzels. I mean, these are great. If you are interested in incorporating more yoga in your kids' lives or any kids' lives, um, yoga pretzels, these are amazing. They're cards. Um, and each card has a different yoga pose or yoga activity or breathing exercise or partner exercises. And it's just a really fun way to get kids into it. My kids love these cards and they, they love them. They'll go through them. They'll pick their favorite one. They'll show us an example. So, um, okay. So... This is, they call it rock. It's basically, it's child's pose. Okay. Um, so it shows the pose. The pose and then on the other side, it shows kind of the steps to it, what it's about, how to do it. Some of it's their games in right. here and how to play the game. Where do you buy it? Um, I got these online. I don't know. Did I get these online? I got them online. Probably um, Amazon. Online, I think Indigo sells them. Bookstores sell them right. online. Right. Um, okay. But I've seen them in stores. Okay. Um, they're great. All right. Yeah. Well, that sounds awesome. And what are things that every day that people could do? I know we touched upon some things. where you are, what you're doing. Some so you could do this in the bathroom. You could do this anywhere, even if it's one minute. Right. Just take a minute and maybe leave your phone in another room would be a really nice way to disconnect. Um, one minute, that's all it takes to just, you can even think of the kids. Inhale through the mouth a couple of times, and then inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. So it's it's almost really, like a kund. I don't know if any of you've heard of Kundalini Yoga. It's a lot of it is a lot of people that are like, I don't like yoga. It's too slow. Yeah. I don't know how you do yoga, whatever, but. It doesn't there's so have many different to, types. There's so many different yoga. types, yeah. and so you have to find the the right instructor. So many oh, different I, kinds. Um, but they all have breathing right. in common, and right. if you're really looking to to de-stress anyone. Can do this um, and if you're looking for more challenging poses to do balancing poses are amazing also and it helps for, your core pre and yes, postnatal yes um, yes yeah. if you're prenatal you don't want to focus do on core you don't want to do the yeah. core work um, <laughs> things like cat cows and um, child's pose are amazing for for pregnancy you, you don't want to do too much core work and postnatal right. Core work is okay, but after you have the okay by your doctor, right? So then work on more core right. strengthening. But balance poses like tree pose. Most people probably heard of tree pose. Maybe um, that's a great one. Kids love that one too. But it. Really, I'm to show you yeah, tree please pose. Show us tree pose. Um, okay, so <laughs> I, I feel like you should be doing the tree pose. Yeah, you do. The tree <laughs> pose. 
Well, you can, and there's different levels. So you can, this is like level one. Stress your foot at the ankle. Or your hands can be anywhere you want. They can be up. Um, but just finding that balance, closing the eyes maybe is really tricky. But if you focus all of your mind and energy into this pose, you're not thinking of anything externally. And that's kind of what we're, we're going with this. Right. And, and this brings in the mindfulness and the connecting to your to yourself. We all could use the that. mind, body, and spirit. Foot can be on the shin, <laughs> upper thigh. Just avoid the knee area, please. Um, but just staying in these balancing poses for right. it really um, for is great minutes. for stimulating that mind and calming calming down the nervous system. <laughs> so after yeah. I do my yoga. I often, you often make shakes for all of us smoothies, which is one of the benefits. Uh, <laughs> uh, but I also like to make my own shakes. So one of the things that I use is these veggie greens. Each scoop has six to eight servings of vegetables. Um, it, this one is by Progressive. It's blueberry flavor. Um, it tastes great and it helps increase energy and it makes you have mental clarity. Um, balances your pH, it's good for your digestive system. So there's all these different, um, there's probably a bunch of other benefits of it, but it's just something that I like. And so not always I have time, like moms are on the go. You don't have time in the morning to eat breakfast. Sometimes I have a boiled egg, so this is my lunch. Or you could take it to work or it's easy. Um, so there's all those type of things. So that's just something that I like to do. Yeah, that's great. And moms, I have a little tip for you. Oh. Okay, and my little tip for you is for making a pasta. If you're gonna make pasta, it's something easy to make for the kids for dinner and you know, some meatballs or whatever. Stop draining the water. I don't know, do you drain your oh, water? Sometimes I'll save it to put in for the sauce. Exactly, yeah. so you yeah. save it to put into the sauce. Yeah. It makes it creamier, the starch helps um, make it not stick together and olive oil, one of the chefs said, actually makes it stick together more. Interesting. So that's my little tip of the day for all of you. Thank you so much for joining us. And I would love to hear about from you. You know, none of us are perfect. Let's make all the other moms feel better. And give us some mom fails. Hashtag mom fails for you for the first week back to school. I know my kids have been late every day. Um, I can't get them to bed. I can't get them off the iPad. The lunch is a so problem. So many challenges. Yes. Just, we just gotta the read. teacher sent out a note yesterday in the lunch bag of the things that my daughter should eat and I should send her lunch no. because she didn't eat her turkey roll-ups because she doesn't eat sandwiches. She's four. So my older one that's oh. seven, I hate to say it, I was like the perfect child. She needs like learn how to just go with what they have. Okay, but that's yeah. the problem, they don't eat it. And then it comes home and you feel like the worst one. I'm like, why didn't the school call me? Oh, right? Oh, okay. But I, I guess it's just yeah. like, you know, last year I didn't have to send lunch. They included it in nursery, which is like the oh, best right. thing ever. Oh, right. But now I have to send lunches. So I want to hear from you guys to make all of us feel better <laughs> and make myself feel better. Give me some of your mom feels. You could give us some mom wins too if you have some tips. And thank you for joining us. Next week, join us on the Pink and Blue Mag Facebook page at 12.30. And we'll be doing it in case you missed it on Instagram every Friday so that you could watch the old shows. They're also up on our website, pinkandbluemag.com. If you haven't joined our Pink and Blue Facebook group, join it. And if you have any questions for Mercy, you could PM her. And she's tagged in the post, Mercy Bar Isaac. Or you could put PM me at Pink and Blue. Uh, Mag Facebook page, and if you're interested in taking any of her classes, you could also PM me, and I could give you some of the deets. And thank you, and have a fabulous weekend.